the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be Lord Jesus, a bright flame before me, a guiding star above me, a smooth path below me, a kindly shepherd behind me, today, tonight, and forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, Celtics. Today is Friday, October 10th. I'm Adam Drury. And I'm Jessica Honadel. And today's broadcast of BM News starts right now. From the Media House Studio, this is BM News. Students who are competing in the McMaster Science Olympics are asked to attend a very important meeting at the beginning of lunch in room 204 today. The competition is next Thursday, and most students have been, pl have been placed in teams and assigned to specific events. If you want to find out what events you're competing in, you need to come to this meeting. Consent forms are due by Tuesday of next week. There will be an important meeting on Tuesday, October 14th for all those girls interested in playing on the girls hockey team. The meeting will take place at the beginning of lunch in room 201. A reminder to all those boys interested in trying out for the boys hockey team, your first tryout will be Tuesday, October 14th. Release time will be 2 p.m. with the bus leaving for West End at 210 Sharp. Please remember to bring your, your $20 uh, tryout fee and your medical waiver with you or you will not be allowed on the ice. Bishop Matt Cross Country competed at the pre-offset event yesterday in Waterloo against 4,200 runners from across the province. Congratulations to Abby Steenveld, who placed 33rd in junior girls against 500 other competitors. Lauren Hinchcliffe and David Beer both posted personal best time that were a minute faster than week. Congrats to the whole team on an excellent meet. Another congratulations goes out to the junior boys Bishop Max soccer team as they beat their rivals, the Ross Royals, yesterday, e yesterday ending the Royals' undefeated season and clinching first place in regular season play. The junior boys played a phenomenal game of soccer with the only goal coming from Andrew, Andrew Moncton uh, midway through the second half. The Celtics shut down Ross for the, for the remainder of the game with the shutout being shared by Julian Caddy and Jack Carter. The junior Celtics began their playoff run after th begin their playoff run after Thanksgiving weekend. The junior boys soccer players are reminded to bring their uniforms and gear to school on Tuesday and be ready to play. The playoff schedule has yet to be announced, so please pay attention to announcements Tuesday for further instruction. Congratulations to the junior boys volleyball team who won their game against Lourdes last night. Go Celtics! <laughs> the, the Celtics boys soccer team beat the first placed Ross team 2-1 to one last night. After many opportu opportunities, Martino Rasso found the back of the Ross net with a spicy goal off of Logan Fisher's free kick. Bryce Hothman secured the win with a beautiful goal late in the second half. It was a great game by all. Way to finish the season strong. Playoffs begin next Tuesday. Today the BMAC football team plays at Lourdes at 3 p.m. The boys will be playing hard. Come out and support the team. Anyone interested in being a part of the curling team this year should come to a meeting today at lunch in room 121. Are you interested in giving Celtics a voice? Do you have a passion for writing? Well, there's an awesome opportunity for you. Today at lunch in the Student Council office, there will be a meeting for anyone interested in helping to start the new school newspaper. That's right, Bishop Mack's very own newspaper. That's today at lunch in the Student Council office. See you there. That's it for today. Oh, no. Next week, basketball and indoor soccer will run in the gym. To be able to play, a donation to the Thanksgiving food drive must be given. This could include canned food or cash donations. 
Finally, a congratulations goes out to the junior girls basketball team for their overtime win against Lourdes. Come out and support the Celtics as they take on GC next Tuesday in our very own gym. That's it for today, Celtics. I'm Jessica Honadel. And I'm Adam Drury. Happy Thanksgiving.